I'm Tim O'Brien, and I'd like to show you a product I've invented to help deal with the situation of adding e-brake cutoffs to any brake set on the market. As you may know, there are a few options for e-brake levers that have switches built in. Hydraulic e-brake systems are even fewer and range from expensive to very expensive. They're often unavailable, and most are pretty low quality. E-brake levers for mechanical brakes are usually of low quality. Since you already have a good brake set on your bike, why swap them out for lower quality units? I know I struggled with this problem for years doing various e-bike builds. My solution, after lots of R&D, is the tripwire. It's a super small device that connects a sensor cable to the moving part of your lever handle. When this cable is engaged by the movement of the lever, it activates a switch in a small sensor tube that is secured to the brake cable housing. This action results in motor cutoff and regen braking. Tripwire installation provides a very tidy and reliable brake sensor that lets you leave your original brakes on the bike or add high quality hydro brakes to any bike. Here you can see it installed on my own e-bikes. The tripwire cable is screwed into a small hole in the lever arm. And when you pull the brakes, you can see that it pulls the tripwire and activates the sensor. This solution is pretty universal and can apply to any style of brake system, be it hydraulic brakes, V-brakes, mechanical disc brakes, etc. However, there are two types of levers on hydro brake setups. So we've come up with a separate sensor for each. A push and a pull version. We've partnered with Grin Technologies to iron out the design of this product and bring it to full distribution. It's ready and available from the eBike CA website and soon from their dealers as well. All the tripwire devices are manufactured by myself and my family here in sunny California. And we're excited to make this solution available to e-bike users around the world facing the same dilemma I have. Thanks for watching. And in the next few videos, I will show some close-up details on the installation process and other tips and tricks.